Good morning and welcome to our service of Holy Eucharist this beautiful Sunday morning. For the Lord has risen. He has risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. And so a very warm welcome, whether you are following the service through your worship sheet or you are following the service online or whether you have joined us in the church at St. Paul's or St. Mary's. And so we begin our worship. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. The Lord bless you. All of us mess up from time to time, I know I do, and we need to recognise our need for God's grace and mercy and his forgiveness in our lives. Christ calls us to share the heavenly banquet of his love with all the saints in earth and in heaven. And so knowing our unworthiness and sin, let us ask from God, for both his mercy and his forgiveness. Jesus Christ, risen Master and triumphant Lord, we come to you in sorrow for our sins and confess to you our weakness and unbelief. We have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help. We have lived by the light of our own eyes as faithless and not believing. Lord, in your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived for this world alone and doubted our home in heaven. Lord, in your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Holy Spirit and raise you to new life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Collect. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, 
but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 15 to 17 and 21 to 26. In those days, Peter stood up among the believers, a group numbering about 120, and said, Brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled in which the Holy Spirit spoke long ago through David concerning Judas, who served as guide for those who arrested Jesus. He was one of our number and shared in our ministry. Therefore, it is necessary to choose one of the men who have been with us the whole time the Lord Jesus was living among us, beginning from John's baptism to the time when Jesus was taken up from us. For one of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection. So they nominated two men, Joseph called Barsabbas, also known as Justus, and Matthias. Then they prayed, Lord, you know everyone's heart. Show us which of these two you have chosen to take over this apostolic ministry, which Judas left to go where he belongs. Then they cast lots, and the lot fell to Matthias. So he was added to the eleven apostles. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Alleluia, alleluia. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. You have the words to eternal life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and also with you. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. 17 6 to 19 I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world they were yours you gave them to me and they have obeyed your word now they know that everything you have given me comes from you for I gave them the words you gave me and they accepted them they knew with certainty that I came from you and they believed that you sent me I pray for them. I'm not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe by that name you gave me. None has been lost except the one doomed to destruction, so that scripture would be fulfilled. I am coming to you now, but I say these things while I am still in the world, so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, for they are not of the world any more than I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself, that they too may be truly sanctified. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us declare our faith together. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. We pray to Jesus, who is present with us to eternity. Jesus, light of the world, bring the light and peace of your gospel to the nations. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, bread of life, give food to the hungry and nourish us all with your word. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, our way, our truth, our life, be with us and all who follow you in the way. Deepen our appreciation of your truth and fill us with your life. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, the good shepherd, who gave your life for the sheep, recover the straggler, bind up the injured, strengthen the sick and lead the healthy and strong to new pastures. We pray for Jean Surrey, Klaus Kaiser, Anne Templey, Joyce Lane, Jean Bowley, Vincent Nash, June Shilton, Sue and John Thorne, Stan Michalski. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, the resurrection and the life, we give you thanks for all who have lived and believed in you. Raise us with them to eternal life. We remember before God those who have died 
and we pray that God's love will surround all who mourn them now and always. We give you thanks for all those whom we have loved but who have gone ahead of us. We pray for the repose of the soul of Victoria Bennett. From St Mary's Book of Remembrance, Lucy Bryan, Margaret Sarah Smith. From St Paul's Book of Remembrance, Ellen Marshall, Doris McFittrich, Muriel Turner, Eric John Dryden, Martin Christopher Turner, Margaret, Peggy, Sarah Smith. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace and rise in glory. And so let us share the peace together. Alleluia! Christ has been raised from the dead. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy and peace. So if we live in the Holy Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. The peace of the risen Lord be with you all. And so we turn now to our Eucharistic As gift I have received you, O Christ, and as gift I offer you to the world. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. In your loving care you spread before us the altar of life and give us the cup of salvation to drink. Keep us always in the fold of our Saviour and our Good Shepherd, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, we give you thanks and praise for the gospel that we have received. For Christ died for our sins. Alleluia. Death comes to all through Adam, and sin reigns for a time. New life without end comes through Jesus Christ, and he reigns forever. Alleluia. Death, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? For death is swallowed up in victory, the victory you give us in Jesus Christ. We have been crucified with Christ and live his risen life to praise you forever and ever with all the saints, angels and archangels. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit upon us and on these gifts that broken bread and wine outpoured may become unto us the most precious body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, shared it with them and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the saviour of the world. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people and gather us in your loving arms and bring us with Mary, the mother of God, blessed Peter and blessed Paul and all the saints to be with you forever at your table in heaven. Through Christ, with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours. O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. And so believing the promise of God as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, we died with you on the cross. Now we are raised to new life. We were buried in your tomb, now we share in your resurrection. Live in us that we may live in you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So for those of you at home, as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us make an act of spiritual communion together as we say, My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never let me be separated from you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so let us give thanks to God who has fed us in this holy sacrament. As we say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Jesus, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Pray bow your heads to receive God's blessing. May the Holy Spirit who hovered over the waters when the world was created breathe into you the life he gives. Amen.
May the Holy Spirit who overshadowed the Blessed Virgin Mary when the Eternal Son came among us make you joyful in the service of the Lord. Amen. May the Holy Spirit who set the church on fire on the day of Pentecost bring the world alive with the love of the risen Christ and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and all those whom you love now and forever. Amen. Thank you.